What is this? Where are you getting them from? Yeah, it's part of steroids. They're not passing any vile drugs tests, by the way. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I nearly up in hospital then. <laughs> If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. You join us today in sunny Romford for what could be a monumental review. We, we've, we're coming to review uh, the world's, I think it's factually, the most talked about, viewed, exciting Chinese, the Blue Orchid. Made famous by the Fishers, Big John, Johnny Fisher, and I couldn't do this alone. I need someone local that's impartial, not the Fishers. I have made a little phone call to the main man, Stuart Kinney. Thanks, doing, brother. Mate, nice to see you. He's a general in a Romford Bellamy. You probably recognise him. Now, we're going to go and eat today. Yep. Give us the, in, the inside scoop. Is it actually legit? You'll be impressed. No doubt about it. This is Big John's go to. He's the most famous Chinese in the country. In fact, I think it's got to be, isn't it? It's good, mate. It's good. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. So, I, I, I said Big John would come in. I, obviously, he, uh, he sent me a list here now. Oh, let's, <laughs> look. <laughs> right, let's get him up. I'm going to play his voice note. Changed the B2. Chicken, uh, the Kung Po chicken to sweeten the sour chicken on Kong style. And they do lovely massive prawns in there. To ask them about their special massive prawns. Special massive prawns. And there's honey prawns. Honey prawns. Unbelievable, Matt. I have been there for a couple of weeks. They've been closed. They've been on holiday. So let me know what you think. There we go. Inside scoop. He's been all over. You're eating there the spicy pork. The mixed all herbs is just not real. The spicy pork. I love it. I've been there for two weeks because they've been closed, so I can't wait to get back to them. Big John. So, let's get inside. We've got a table reserved for 6.30. Are we late? Yeah, we're late. So let's get in there. Order the B2. B2. Have you met Tyrone? Nice to meet you, mate. How you doing, Stuart? Nice to meet you. Look at investment coming to Romford, look. Get up. Called the fish, that one's called the Fisher Towers. That one's Big John, that one's Johnny. <laughs> That's Big John's tower. Now we're here, look guys, we're here. The legendary Blue Orchid. Big John has said he's been everywhere and this is the one. He, well, he, he's forgotten more about Chinese than we know. After you, mate, come on, lead us in. After you, mate, come on. Oh, I've got to get, get in there. Right. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. you okay? Hello. hello, you all right there? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you okay? Yeah. No he's already been, he has been on the phone until I swapped to order. Oh, to order. Oh, B2 yeah. menu, isn't it? B2, yes, B2. <laughs> Jay said, yeah, get the B2. He said, you've got right. amazing right. prawns. I think That's I'm just going to order whatever Big John has. Oh, we'll no. have it. We'll sort it out. No worries. I'm, I'm, we're in good hands. Thank you very much, my no, friend. Problem. Let's talk Johnny quickly. You at his last fight? Yeah. Smash it, didn't he? Great fight. In front what of a, you. What a fight. Yes, brilliant fight. Brilliant fight. Roll on the next one. He, those that didn't see it, dropped his man in what, 15 seconds? About that, yeah. 15 seconds. Turns out, woke woke him up, man, uh, having a barnstorming yeah, fight for fight a title, didn't they? Well, he yeah, woke up yeah. and they had a real good fight, didn't they? Yeah, Johnny yeah. took his time, brilliant yeah, fight. A lot of love and respect for all the fishers, they know that. Your main sponsor, Johnny? One of Johnny's sponsors, one yeah. of many, yeah. One, yeah, one of many. One of, yeah. Yeah. All right, boys, enough of the small talk, we're in. First impressions? Nice atmosphere. Prawn crackers down within 30 seconds. So yeah. Always right. a positive. Right. Go on, lead the guest first. Tyrone. What are you looking for from pork cracker? It's like a good crisp. Can't be oily, can it? They're nice. They're gonna make me drink faster though. <laughs> That's a good pork cracker. They're nice. That's very good. Yeah, they are. Right. Come on. Oh, shape quite nice and all to put your food on. <laughs> Spoon like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sturdy. You get a good portion of rice in there. So are you the infamous stingray? I'm um, Nice Big John Stingray. Nice to meet you, Stingray. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Just tell me, what's Big John done for your business? Is it is it going through the roof now? Yeah. It must be the most famous yeah. Chinese in the country. We're getting busy. We're in that way, we're busy, yeah. yeah. These are the we're getting busy. Folks. So they come in this morning from Billingsgate. We're going to pick them up this morning, four in the morning. Let's, but don't, uh, get let's have a couple. But, but don't get me wrong, if you're not a fan, go for the prawns. The prawns are lovely. Let's do the prawns. Let's do the prawns. Yeah. They look oh, amazing, by the way, bro. We'll do a couple of those if you want. Just do a couple go of those. Let's have them. Go on. This gentleman here recommended them. Let's oh. have them. They don't sound like they're going to go to waste anyway. We'll just pass them over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what else is going on? He's popped off somewhere. Oh, right, no problem. He disappears. He does here. He just swam off. Where's he going? Maybe you can answer this. What makes this Chinese so special? Be serious now. We've been here since 1963. Wow. So my granddad wow. opened it in 63. Stingray's been here since 64. So really we've kept the recipe from 63. We've not really changed it. 
obviously over the years we've added stuff on like the scallops, mm. the cods, the basses that are very popular and we do the prawns but generally it's stayed the same and then we have a lot of regular customers. Uh, we get four generations of wow. customers coming in. They've been coming for years, they've been coming for years. Amazing. They're all regular customers. Amazing. Obviously, look, the reason we're sitting here today is through the fishers, right? They're friends, they're good friends of ours. I, I love them to bits, but they put you on the map, big time, don't they? This is probably most famous John, Chinese. John would be, I would say, John, he's only a few years older than me. I reckon he's been coming in for about 30 years, I reckon. Wow. So I remember serving John and Charlotte when they were dating. Uh, really? Before they had the four children. Wow. So that's how long we've known the fishers. Good family, right? Yeah, they've always come in, they've brought their families, special occasions, lovely children as well. The best. Yeah. It goes without saying that. They're, I think they're a wonderful family. But sentimental stuff aside, we're here for the food. Food, yeah. I'm looking forward to trying it. I've heard good things. Good. He said the B2, you said the B2, we're having a B2. Yeah. Two, but we, <laughs> but we have a, so if we do the prawns as a... We do the all blurs first. Let's then do it. we go for yeah. the, the prawns, yeah. and then we do the duck, and then the main meal. Well, if you could just confirm to the camera, we have just literally phoned out the blue. Yep. I phoned up, booked That's a table. Right. You didn't know we were coming. No pre-arrangement. No pre-arrangement. No brown no. bags. Nothing. We're going to pay our way, just like everyone else does. We get an honest review. As per normal. You got a phone call 10 minutes ago? In my van on the way home from yeah. work. Yeah, so. 10 minutes ago? Nice and organised round here. So you, were, you weren't even coming at one point? I no, no. I, I ate two hours ago, but don't worry, I'll still eat. Still I, needed, I needed an insider with me, one of them Romford Balami, just to, just to steady the ship down so we've got someone of a friendly but, face. But, but, so be to all around me. For a start, I'll just have, I'll just have something small because I want to have a main, but I'm not hungry, hungry. But, but yeah, I'll have a couple of ribs or something for a start. Is like this amateur hour? Do you want to see what I ate two hours ago? No, what did you eat two hours ago? I thought it was McDonald's. On the van. <laughs> it wasn't a light meal, do you know? So, look, very big things. Thank you. I'm really, really excited about uh, seeing the food. Finding a good Chinese is, is, uh, is tough. Where I live, there's one real good one, but there's a lot of rubbish. There's a lot of rubbish. I think that goes nationwide too. Sometimes cheap filler ingredients, big MSG, synthetic sources, and for what I've seen, this is the, the opposite. Of that. This is real high end, so roll on the food. What percentage of your business is eating and what's takeaway? I would say eating is 90% takeaway, about 10%. And I try to keep the takeaway as minimal as I can. Eating good food deliver the two contradictory things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, the way it's cooked. When you use those wok and, it, and it's all done with steam, and you take it home, the lids go on, the condensation goes up, the food can get a bit sweaty. And that's why we have a, when we take away is a discount. It's cheaper because we do know the fact that when you take it home, no matter how good we cook it, it's travelling 30 minutes, 20 minutes to get to your home. By the time you plate it up, yeah, exactly. you mucks around with your plates, your, your knives and forks, dishing it up, it's, you're 40, 50 minutes in probably. You've got to come out of it, you've got to come and do it live, in person, get it at its best. I think if you're going to do a review and be critical, someone you've got to get it at its best. This one's the mixed hors d'oeuvres. Oh my god, look at this. That's the spicy pork that uh, John loves. Wow. So I'll hold back on the ribs for a little while, I'll let you get on with those first, let me see how you get on. Now, okay, the first thing I'm going to say is you two, now you know backseat drivers here, we're going to need contribution. <laughs> Me and Stuart are going to do our part, but you need to chip in, and you need to chip in. Now, down to business. I've never seen prawn toast that, with that depth to it. It's 100% prawn toast. And look at that, look, look, how, look how golden that sesame is on top. Wow, look at the depth, bro. Early indications, strong. Roll up the sleeves. <laughs> Let's go, good luck. Good luck, mate. Right, we're in. Where are you going first? I need Big John's seat, I need to sort of act the part, look the part. Alright, let's get some of this. Stuart, what are you in here? What are you having here? Sorry, what is this one, sorry? That's a spicy pork. Spicy pork. Spicy pork. That's chicken. chicken. Then in here, the spring rolls? Spring rolls, pork toast, the seed. Right. I'll leave you some sauce. Go on, boys. Get That's him. a chili oil, we make our own. Spicy. Oh, there's a kick to it. Is it? Looks moody, that does. Get in there, Terry, you got enough pork, look. First taste. This is the pork, right? Looks good. Not too hot. Spectacular. Super tender. Oh, oh, amateur hour. There we go. Super tender. Now coat is delicate, crisp. It's got a sweet sauce in the outside that's not overpowering it. Wow. Nice. What do you reckon, bro? Very nice, very nice. 
I like the sauce, it ain't too hot, but it's not. Very sweet too, right? Mm -hmm. Chicken here, look. That's like chicken butter. Look at that cross section of that chicken at the end. You see that? It's actually yellow with the marinade. That marinade has impregnated the meat, broke down the toughness. Look at that. That sauté on the outside of that. It's better than nice. Straight away, this, this tastes and feels legit. Dare I say it, elite. Let's try some of this. This is the homemade chili sauce. That pork is unreal, isn't it? Sensational, bro. Spring roll it. I've got very, very good Chinese near me. They're gonna murder me for saying this. I'm not sure I can say this on camera, this is that's my go-to place. <laughs> this is one I'm actually worried about saying, because I love this other place. Did you whisper it? This might be better. Like, close. I can immediately taste, there's an element of class about this. We've only had three things. Who knows what the rest of it's coming like. You've been here a job before? Not, not Johnny, no. I've been here before. Last time I come here was actually a few years ago. So, it's been so a while. Are local then? I'm originally from Dagenham, which is about 10 minutes away, yeah. All right, what's, in your opinion, give me a couple of other real good food spots around here. Curvan Kitchen, obviously I'm going to say that. You like that, yeah? Yeah, I'm a Turkey. I'm quite simple, so Turkish is like my, my go-to. There's one in Basildon, there's one, obviously you've been to the one near Johnny's, and then you've got another one in Brentwood. That's, a, that's like a decent restaurant you can have. So the one in Brentwood is quite, you know, like for a night out and things like that as well. There's entertainment and things like that. Um, chariots, fish and chips, you've been there. It's a good Can place. Cafe Royale. Cafe Royale, yes. Not the favourite I'm not, dishes. I'm quite, when I like eat something, I like it, so I go to the same place. You, know. you give me chicken every day. Mind you, the pork's good, I'm not going to lie. Well, if you know anywhere around here, you think you might have missed or you rate something else, get in the comments and let us know. Mm. I'm excited for the rest of this. Can we finish with this? I think we should try it. I'll give that a good go, no problem. <laughs> Ball toast. Comfortably, the nicest prawn toast I've ever had. Excuse me if you use my fingers. I've got Bushman on you. The prawn is delicious. The bread, nice and crisp, not holding too much oil. A deep fried, but it still tastes clean. Doesn't taste heavy. That's a work of art. <laughs> yeah, put it on. I think you need to put like stars in your eyes. You need to go upstairs and come back down. There we go. <laughs> what a man, look. What, what, what a fella. Right, well. Oh, one more. I have that. You've inhaled that, bruv. Straight in. You give him a challenge and he's roasted it. No, we can't uh, let our team, we can't let the boss shoulders down here, bro. Terry, put on toast, please. Come on. Thank you. Tyrone, right, so polite. Initial thoughts? It is so... I already tried one and it is crispy and soft. There we go. And you can't beat that. <laughs> it's full of flavour. But the crispiness and the softness in one go. Mm. It's very good. You don't want the uh, pile of seaweed? I tried it. It's good. It's nice. Not my favourite though. I've got, got to save some room for the real stuff. Got start. Cantonese beef and prawns and all sorts of stuff coming in. Amateurs load up on this stuff. Mm. As he's putting a bit in his mouth. Whilst I've got you here as well, I get a lot of messages asking who makes this stuff. Our track suits, our bags, all that jazz, <clears throat> the hats, all the four star stout you see me wearing. Next Gen Enterprises. This is Next Gen. Mush. So what else can you do for people? They don't watch you now. Uh, we cover all office supplies, furniture, 
workwear and just as a recent we're now doing a lot of construction industrial supplies and we buy and sell shipping containers and we can make them bespoke to your request We've got our own drivers who can deliver anywhere in the uk yeah basically as a the aim of the business is to be called like a one-stop supplier shop to cater for all your needs whilst obviously offering a competitive service and efficient prices well you know he certainly knows more about his business than he does local eateries i'll give him that <laughs> That's no idea, by the way. That's a genuine shout out for my mate. He does a great job for us. You. You, you're working with Tyson Fury, yeah. Connor, yeah. and all of his team doing cool, the board yeah. All that stuff you see them wearing is this man here. So if you've got any of those requirements or needs, just trust me, he's a, he's a, a problem solver. You might not like me saying that, but then you can order something at 9 o'clock and want it by 10 o'clock. But... I'll give it a go, don't worry. <laughs> if you need it, I'll try it. Like, I don't like to say no, you know, so. Yeah, but I'll, we'll put a link to uh, your website yeah, in, the, in the description yeah. below. Go and check it out. If you need any of that, work in the UK, oh, you need any of that sort of jazz. These track suits, for example, everyone's messaging about these. We're not, we haven't got them for sale yet, maybe one day. But if you want some for your business, whatever it might be, he's your man. Here we go then, the soup. Um, that soup is disgusting. Fantastic. What is that? What is that? That's, just, that's rank. Is that soup? I don't think that's soup, mate. What is it? Uh, wash. wash fingers. Sausage like finger soles stuff, innit? Just put your finger. I wonder it wasn't very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he had a green tea. <laughs> you gonna try one of these? A little bit out of my uh So what is this what's the sauce on this scallops? Uh, black black bean sauce. Black bean Scallop sauce and scallops. Black bean sauce, yeah. Right. Scallops? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, let's just try one now. Let's watch, get it whilst it's hot, shall we? So I'm gonna get this scallop out of ready. That's a meaty scallop. Big scallop. Oh wow. Mind the trophy you mate. Completely amazing. Buttery, soft, tender, beautiful flavour. These really are the fruit of the sea. To be serving something like this, that's spectacular. What have we got here? He said, some, don't use some extra well. ribs, but don't eat them all because you've got loads more coming. He said, just have a bite out of them. He said, how long is it good for five hours? Three hours. Three so. hours. Three hours slow. It means it should be tender. Don't, don't eat them all. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. Cut. You just cut that with a spoon? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Awesome, that look. Come on. <laughs> now you see it, now you don't. Understanding how different meat breaks down, not only breaks down in the cooking process, but breaks down the sauce and marinade. That's special. That's really, really special. Bit of a crust on the outside. Bit of bite to it, bit of purchase, and as soon as you get into the chewing process, completely disintegrates in your mouth. The sauce is not too gloopy, the viscosity is bang on. And that, that's what I'm talking about. Boners all round. He's got a bigger boner than me. Some things don't change. <laughs> <laughs> What makes these so special? They've been in the oven for three hours. Really? Yeah. So you marinate the night before, you put it in the oven, and then it three hours of gas time, and just when you take it out, it's melted. Low heat? Low heat. Low and slow. We can see, you can see my bone, look. Yeah, but it just comes off, right? The meat just comes off. We were cutting that with a spoon. Yeah, literally. Cutting with a spoon. Yeah. See, it's how it should be. Surely there's a quicker way to do it than that. Yeah, much more couple of pounds for you to share. I've only done two, so if you share it, then you have a large pool as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what did you just say? A large prawn? Yeah. What needs, like Godzilla prawns? Looks like a salmon. <laughs> it's not a prawn. It's a great fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've never ever seen a prawn that big in my time. Does that look big on camera, bro? <laughs> 
That's definitely big. <laughs> That's like a serving platter, and it's like. <laughs> it looks like a salmon. I want to name this. I want to name these prawns Moby and fucking Dick. <laughs> what I I'd get you new plates. You can what is this? <laughs> Where are you getting them from? Yeah, it's prawns on steroids. I'll, I'll, put, I'll get some new plates. They're not passing any of the drugs tests, by the way. <laughs> they came out of Rafe's Park. <laughs> Did you catch them? I don't even know what. To, I was it. I thought we'd bring that lobster. No, it's the prawns. But we're doing these. What we're is? Pork them, and then what we do? Sorry, but we butter fry them. We clean them up. And it's steamed. It's steamed for about 10 minutes till it's cooked through. Goes into a wok. Onions, shallots, peppers, chilies, and Chinese salt. Fantastic. Right. Uh. Where'd you start with that? What you can get out of Thames these days is remarkable. <laughs> I didn't know you could get balls that big. Mm -hmm. Can I off you? Yes, please. Yeah. 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 You've had a prawn this size, say, Matt. There's more, lo more meat in that than there's a bloody lobster. Yeah. Magnificent. Here we go. Look at this. Come in nice and closer. Look at the quality of that meat. Look at the size of it. Look at that beautiful colour, steamed in the shell. Let's go. Oh wow, look at that. All of that. Signature spices, flavours, veg, chilies, onions. I feel like I won the World Cup of food. The Blue Orchid in Romford has just gone 6 0 up and it's not even half time. <laughs> Depth, quality, class, the wow factor. This ain't an ordinary Chinese. That's a fact. How's it grow? Terrible. Yeah. Big John some more, isn't it? <laughs> Big John said he's in Barcelona and be back Saturday. Oh, yeah, right? okay. Big John can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant that one was called Big John. <laughs> Big John, John called it. <laughs> I mean, how much are these? Twenty-five good. Never ever have I seen. You don't need to say anything. It just cut the video. This is just. This is going from from strength to strength, bro. You know, um, I was just saying to Stuart, you first first time on a food review, right? Yes, yes. From the moment you walk in, us foodies, we're building a picture of a place and hearing them talk, what they're saying, the whispers about the recipes, where they're getting this from, where they're getting that from. You can start building a picture. I, ain't, I, ain't, I haven't seen or experienced one aspect of this entire experience today that I haven't thought was amazing. Hearing them talk with a passion about. What did he say, Jules? He finished here at 11 last night. Was that oh, back in Billingsgate by 3 a.m. to get the fresh, fresh lodges? Just the scallop. So I've got it from Billingsgate at 5 o'clock this morning. You ain't getting out of bed if you don't care, trust me. They're probably running a very successful business here, no doubt about it. To get up as a grown man. I'm not sending these youngsters down there. He's a grown, he's a grown man. Send the youngsters down and go and pick up these things. But no, he wants to go down there himself. Eyeball the stuff, make sure it's top quality, you go share a good deal, bring it back, and put it in the fridge himself. Not, hello mate, when's the, when's the, uh, the trailer trash seafood gonna be gonna arrive? I don't care, I'm open in 10 minutes, none of that. He's down there himself and picking the best fruit of the sea. That in itself tells you they give a shit. They that means you can tell they're cleaning the kitchen, number one. They know they're doing other things, isn't it? Right, they, ain't gonna be, they ain't cutting that corner, they're not cutting the other corners. So, what have we got now? Duck. And then we've got, and then we've got the mains. Wait, <laughs> Do you remember what? all that stuff we were at the beginning? That's still to come. This is the, this is the warm up, bro. I'm warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, lads. Go on, Terry. You lead us out, mate. Tyrone, sorry. Your street name. Oh, excuse my fingers, but I make this clean because I've dipped them in the lemon. <laughs> Duck as well. It's always the one thing that's just way better in house than when you get a takeaway. You get the, 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 the duck stays crispier, has more life to it. Um, it's good when you get a takeaway, but it's never as good as eating it in. All right, let's do it, boys.
Plus the uh, hoist in over, boys. Right. Huh? Oh. Here we go. Well. <laughs> That's good. That's a unicorn moment. It's crispy and fluffy and soft all at the same time. Yeah, it is, it is. Impossible. It can't be done. It's delicately crispy but also fluffy. Two different words. So it's like being wet and dry at the same time. Impossible. How can you be wet if you're dry? Come another duck here and you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> me. How <Thank you> good. <laughs> Certified. Crisp. Cucumber. Or chew chumber. Hoistim. Punchy. I'm smiling, head to toe. <laughs> Check that, I didn't actually know what you was going to do. I don't know if I missed it. <laughs> I, I didn't know you was going to do that. <laughs> Can you believe what you've just seen? I, I do now. I, if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. I'm quite impressed, I'm not going to lie, I want to try it myself. <laughs> Please. 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 <laughs> Professional. The uh, Sizzle and Beef Cantonese car, because it's a recipe you can only eat here. It's a recipe my friend did 60 years ago. This is unique to the Blue Orchid. And we use fillet steak. Fillet steak? Fillet steak. Right, I'm saving myself, mate. That's not, that's so not normal. It literally will melt on, 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 on your tongue. Really? And it melt on your tongue. So the sauce, it's 60 years Really? 60 years old. Yeah. Can't eat it. Save your stomach for that one. It's too late saying that now. But, <laughs> free but just wraps. to give you the... We've had, we've had, two, there, we've had two quarters... <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> hey, you won't coup for a good score today until you said that. We've had two courses in between the regular B2. So we were going full and he also said, Big John has the banana fritters, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, we're having banana fritters and all. Save your stomach. <laughs> It's too late, bro. <laughs> the horse is already bolted and now you're trying to close the gate. I've got, I've got one loaded it's ready gone. to go. It's, it's gone. Gone. He just looked at me and said, you got more space, I can see it. <laughs> How's the diet going, Matt? Yeah, brilliant, thanks. It's a diet coke though, isn't it? I'm having diet coke, so I'm not, not mucking around. Yeah, if you're going to eat this, Matt, you need diet coke. They said the mains are going to be uh, hard work. Easy! Is that it? Oh, no. This one's a little Johnny's favourite. The beef Cantonese stuff. Big John. Simply. Big John. Big John. Yeah, Philly. And Philly. For Big John. Yeah. Big John is the man, isn't he? He's the man. He's the main man. We've been coming here. Yeah. 30 years. Yeah, really. Before the children fall. Wow. He's, he's 30 years ago. He's a magnificent man. Yeah, yeah. lovely man. A fantastic man. Long for the road. There you go. <laughs> Oh, look, let's have it straight, I'm a professional. I'm gonna enjoy every one of these dishes because we're building a picture. I'm not eating, I'm working. It's different. The only thing I'm gonna eat and enjoy is gonna be the banana fritters. <laughs> I'll, I'll clock off at that point. <laughs> so you're on the clock right now? Yeah, this, this, is, the, this is the grandfather's recipe. You know, uh, that's also when they say that, it's special when they say that sort of thing. I really like that. They say that you die twice. Once when you actually die, like now, and you, the second time you die is when people stop talking about you. The, the last time someone mentions your name is the, is the second time you die. This, this grandfather's, I don't know if he's, I'm assuming he's not still alive, the grandfather's still living on with his recipe today here at the Blue Walk in Monford. That's a legacy, right? You're still having your dishes, you're still having your recipes. Here we go. The stuff that was passed down. Chicken balls? Fantastic. You've got to have the chicken balls for the Big John experience. <laughs> Is that what it's called? The Big, Big John, John experience? experience. <laughs> Chicken chow, mate. Oh, the Big John Experience. 99 pounds. I love that. The Big John Experience. The Big John. Never mind the B2. It's now called the Big John. 
ladies and gents, welcome. We're at the Blue Orchid in Monford for the Big John experience. <laughs> it's got a ring. Oh, come on, special fried rice. Did you need to add some more dishes on? <laughs> no, you're I good. I think we're all right, but you're not. You're joining me. Has anyone ever, at that point, has anyone ever said yes? No, no, no. Just check it. I always check, yeah. though. I always check. Oh, well, I'm going to go back to you. Is there anything you think we're missing? Uh, We've had it, haven't we? Maybe some vegetables. No, we don't need Just any of that. Just to balance it out. No, 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 no. Then you're fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What do you think? We, what sort of channel do you think this is? Shall we? Yes. Come on, boys. Let's get in. Let's get in. Let's just get in, Terry. Dive in, mate. See, look at this. Look, that huge piece of the chicken in there. Look at that. This is a special fried rice, right? We've got, we've, got, we've got prawns in there, we've got pork, chicken, egg fried rice. Oh, let's get it, man. let's get it. Man. Wow. Can you see that char on the bottom, the bottom of that? It's like the sauce has caramelised off a little bit. This is fillet of beef. Who uses fillet for that? Like, fantastic. Cheers, everyone. Oh. <laughs> That, is it hot? I nearly up in hospital then. <laughs> That's one of the third hottest things on the planet right now. My mouth's never going to be the same again. Oh my God, I'm so shocked. How do you eat He's doing alright. Do you need to blow it, mate? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> No. It's so soft. That's the single best beef dish I've ever had at Johnny's. At Legacy, that's living on, alright. The grandfather's yeah. sauce. Sweet. It's got a very, very fruity taste to it. Doesn't, when I say sweet, sweet's not syrupy though. It's, it's balanced sweet. Very, very nice. And you've got some sort of charred bits around the outside and the beef is also doing its business. I don't know if I should show you this. Like, like the beef is kind of stuck to the pan a little bit. So you've got, wow. Look at this char on the outside there, look. So that char on the beef. Oh. Whoops. What do you think of that? I'm not a massive, massive fan of beef, but that is soft. Melts in your mouth, isn't it really? I'd eat it again, put it that way. Don't often come around to special dishes like that, and that's certainly one of them. That's grade A, 10 out of 10, elite food right there. And carrying so much heritage for these boys and girls, the Blue Orchid. I'm over the moon with this. All right, let's get on with this. The rice. Quite glad you rung me on the M25, that's good. <laughs> This is brilliant, isn't it? Next up, we've got the sweet and sour chicken here. Is it chicken? Yeah, or pork, one of the two. For, for us, um, this is our halo dish. This is one that we go for. It's like, we have, I love this with uh, egg fried rice. One of my favorites. First thing to report is there's a huge chunks of chicken. It looks pretty classic to me. Not swimming in sauce either. That's not swimming in like a soup of that sticky sauce. Hate of mine. Nothing worse than getting a tub that's full to the brim of the sauce. Just, it's not a soup. It's a, an addict, the sauce is a, it's a side part, not the main event. Here we go. Crispy, very, very sweet. Has that sour kick with the rice. This place is good. This is a slick, well organised operation that they know who they are. Where does that mean? No, it's cool. I've never had beef like that before. That normally. 
You get a tiny piece of beef. More crisp, more batter than beef. That's vice versa, that's a huge piece of beef. This is going very, very well for them. Come on for you uh, eggheads out there, chicken balls. <coughs> Very, very light outer coating. Bread like, not heavy, oily, and doughy. And let's try that in this sauce here. Stuart's recommendation. Spectacular. Right, let's scan the rest of this. If we can, let's we'll see how we get on. Well, my dad's been here. This is my dad's life. He worked here seven, seven days, seven days a week. Really? Seven days a week when I was young. Seven days a week. You do it between 12, 13, 14 hours a day. You really don't realise when you do this type of work, you finish work, you find stock. You should be working here all day. Or you're going to the fish market, or you're going to the fruit and veg market, or you're buying groceries for the restaurant. It's 24 hours. Wouldn't it be easy to get it delivered? We're in particular, so when I go to the fish market, when I walk in there, they know who I am. We've been buying it for 60 years. They're going to give me the best of stuff. If I send someone down there, I'm not going to deal with them properly. If you want to get things done, you get done things properly. Done properly. Go down and do it yourself. <laughs> you, and you were saying as well, um, but the, that, the Chinese saying, what was that you said in one, one thing, which means go out to earn uh, some money, but also the translation is uh, find something to eat. Wow. So when we go to work, it's finding something to eat. Because we love food. We love food. <laughs> I would love to go. I would love to go to Asia one day and do some proper reviews over there. We'll see how things pan out. But yeah, I think it'll be another world. I love the food. Love the different. Yeah. Um, Stingray, Big John, and Fruit Review Club on tour. Stingray, are you going to come yeah. over? Are you going to come on a review with us? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to say your food has been amazing, and your okay. son, your sons are a real credit to the business. Yeah, I mean, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, you're thank you. Fantastic people. Yeah, thank you very much. We're very passionate about uh, the business. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. You can tell this is a very special place. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Good. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Lovely. Loved it. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Yeah. Yeah. Could we have some banana fritters? Oh, yeah, certainly. Yeah, you're some sort of banana yeah. fritters. Yeah. yeah, you share one. Yeah, yeah. yeah one. Yeah. Yeah. I do it as a bite size for you. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too much. We've got the fritters coming. Yeah, yeah coming. I think so. They've been ordered. Might need a hand with this one, mate. Yeah. We've done well. We've done well. Obviously, no, we've done well. They made meals. You made a dent in it, didn't you? <laughs> Give them the gun. This is about the extras we had. <laughs> yeah, it was the uh, the salmon prawns. Yeah, they were big. I've never, I've never seen anything never like seen it. Yeah. They were hanging off the edge of the plate. It was like a serving plate. The sort of plate you have your Christmas turkey on. His <laughs> tail was poking at one end and the bloody nose was at the other. Oh, look at this. Go on, him. Look at that. Didn't he say he was going to do a small portion? Look I at did. this. You I said did. a small portion. I did. I said to the chef, give me a small portion and he's misunderstood. <laughs> No, I'll eat this. It's a fact that dessert goes into a different place in your... Correct. It doesn't count. <laughs> well, no, actually, if you have a dessert at the end and it's sweet, it actually makes you less full up. Yeah, great. I knew there's some sort of logic in there. Now we have the fritters. Oh my god. What, He's on. already in. He's in already. Why? Oh, 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 oh. Why? Wow. I don't, I've never had anything, I've never even had that before, but Jesus Christ. I haven't had this. Oh, look. Wow. Come on, let's have a look at that. This is honestly my first time having this. I haven't had this since I was a kid. Oh my good God. He's off. <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised no one noticed my erection. Can you ask him to make a bigger portion? <laughs> that is crispy, light, the golden syrup with the banana, the vanilla ice cream. You do not need any more than that. Ah! Best ever. I'm not for a second saying I doubted them, but maybe, maybe a hot job. You know, once it started building its own momentum, coming here today, 
certified brilliance. Let's eat this, jump outside for the final conclusive review. This is where it gets certified, hot or not. Enjoy that, mate. I was having a moment, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone very quiet over there. Do you know where you are? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sad. Of, like a bowl of cereal. Finish off the day. Coffee. Just when you, just when we thought we were done, you got to have a big, full Big John experience. Big John. You are a legend, mate. You, the family, Charlotte, even Hetty's gonna get a shout out. Um, this is legit. I'm a bit speechless, to be honest. I feel like we've had more than the Chinese tonight. It's been, been really nice. I don't think we've been joined by Stuart from Next Gen Enterprises. Good, very good friend of mine. That's nice for you to come. But we've had a crack in a few weeks with Food Review Club as well. It feels like things are going all right at the moment. So I'm a bit wary this is when things start going bad. But I'm just grateful. I feel blessed to be here. We've had a, had a wicked week so far. And um, this has been a bit of an icing on the cake, a bit of a cherry moment, a bit of a rainbow. If that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. I feel like things are, it's gone well. And this has been a magical experience here today. Like, can you describe a Chinese magical? I'm not sure you can, but this has been, so fuck it. I've even got the sort of the wet wipes that you get on the, I want the full towel. Got to get the ears done. Round the ears, look. Round the neck, look, round the ears. Hold on. Oh, oh. Let's uh, look away. <laughs> no, it's been brilliant. This is great. Loved it. Absolutely. He's after eight, bro. You're fine. No, no, I'm fine. What? Come on, let, give me. Uh, look, you've been here the whole time. What's your overriding opinion of it so up to this point? Well, for someone who's actually quite fussy with a Chinese, and I've actually ate more than I ever thought I would. I've tried everything, I've not disliked anything. And I think what we were speaking about as well is the family heritage and business, like talking about granddad's recipes. I thought that was special, bro. Yeah, no, for sure. Really like, touching. They're both Stingray's kids, and you know, you can tell they, uh, I think you said they finish work at 11 pm and they're in Billingsgate by 3 am. So. I think Matt said like the difference of just placing an order to get your food delivered to actually go and pick it yourself, like, and I think that's why they've got the reputation and they serve the food that they do. I, I just loved, loved hearing yeah, from the subtleties, subtlety, yeah. just hearing them talk yeah. about their dad, the recipe. Yeah. I think it's special. I think that sort of stuff in this day and age is brilliant. I think the more. It, yeah. It's, it inspires the shit out of me to hear them talk about that. This is what being a food is about meeting these people. I never even, they didn't even know we were coming. We've got no special treatment tonight. I'm going to pay my bill just like everyone else for sure. Uh, everything I'm saying is legit. And then, do you know what? I would have said it as well. If it weren't up to scratch, I would have said it. I'm not saying I wasn't expecting that, but I would, I'll promise you now I would have said it. And I ain't got a bad word to say about any, any aspect of this whatsoever. Impossible. Pride and dedication. Say again. Pride and dedication. Very proud. And they're dedicated. It's be relentless, isn't it? Like the, the hours, seven days a week, like non stop. It's not like you can just choose to shut for a day, is it? You've got a continuous customer flow, you know? So. Romford and surrounding area should be very proud of this place. Yeah, for sure. This is more than a Chinese. Mm. And bosh to that. Coffee bosh. I found the light, geese. It's gonna be lit up like angels. We okay? Let it go down a little bit. Belly's full. <laughs> full, but happy. How are you feeling, Stuart? Tired, full up, but happy, full up. Been a good night, thank you very much. No, you, you're all right, mate. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming. Look, ladies and gents, I think we've pretty much echoed everything there. Sorry, echoed everything. Pretty much said everything I wanted to say about the place. My overriding, uh, genuine reaction to that was mainly how impressed I was with them as a family, their attention to detail, their love for their, what they do really. And second to that, the food was absolutely mesmerizing. You said off camera, best Chinese you've ever had. It was incredible. I've never had Chinese. Very either. clean tasting. Yeah. Very crisp, very palatable. It wasn't oily, wasn't heavy, you're not you're cutting any corners. You can see that in what they're, the way they're talking. And guess what, on your tongue too. If you blindfolded me, I'd say the same stuff. It was fucking brilliant. Really, really good. Best I've ever been to, quite possibly. Luckily for me, I've got a very good one near where I live too. They're few and far between. Uh, Chinese outlets in this country are normally takeaway. Got a very, very bad reputation in most parts. They're cheap and nasty. You know, 
usually they're not very good. So when you get a good one like this, cherish it. And a bit if, um, <laughs> so, did he beep when he went past? Yeah. <laughs> serving He's the community, <laughs> serving the community, doing a great job. And I'm going to be honest, it's on this roundabout here in Romford, that's fairly unassuming too. Like you, if we weren't, if it wasn't down to Big John and Johnny's exposure, this place has got you'd not a chance. Would you pull over and go? Well, that looks nice to pull over. I'm telling you now, that is housing some of the best Chinese food we've ever seen. Have a look here. Get the blue lights there. Look. If you didn't know, we put the sign above the Romford Balami. There he is. What a young man he is, what a family they are, and I'm, I'm so glad we've done this today. And it's important as well not to do it with them because it might have come across as biased or weighed in their favour, but guess what? To do it without them is even better, right? It's more genuine, more favourable. Um, we still had Stuart here as the leading, uh, make sure I didn't step out of line in Romford. Share the food with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk to you about those banana fritters, bro. Oh, they, honestly, that was probably one of the best desserts I've ever had. <laughs> now I know why Big John enjoys yeah. his banana fritter. Yeah, they, I, th I wouldn't actually, if there was like a dessert menu, I wouldn't order that, but that was, I'll oh. be ordering it again, put it that way. But Chinese near us, nobody has the, like the uh, ice cream shake penguins. <laughs> and like, uh, <laughs> the fro the frozen yeah, <laughs> terrible stuff. Good for the kids. Yeah. Even like six year olds, oh, not them again. <laughs> right, now, this, is the, this is the crunch time. This is where we have to give them a score. Score out of 10, and as always, our guest goes first. Now, no Mickey Mouse scores, all right? We want to really think about this. I, 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 there's nothing bad I can say. Obviously, I'm not no food review expert. Yeah, you've got a mouth, you've got a taste buds. I, I, would, I would have to say a, a, a 10, but for the reason being, not just the food for, I think we said about the cleanliness, the family tradition and the heritage in the business, like, I mean, half of what he said didn't really make any sense to me, but you could see he knew what he was talking about with the food, like where he gets it from, the hours they put in, and it would have been a 9.5, but the banana fritter just there we go. sent it there. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10 and I'll be back. They were on a good track just the way they conducted themselves, right? That put, this put them right up there anyway. And then the food on top of that, to the standard that it was, which, you know, is thinking back to the sauce there, the, you know, the, uh, family recipes you know forgetting all this you know working two sons working with their dad with a smile on their face passionate about what they do i thought that was brilliant it's inspiring and i wish you know that i had that relationship with my dad it's, it's, it's special stuff you know what i mean it's just just liked every minute of it and for that reason i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna give that a 9.8 one of the biggest scores we've ever given anything. I think Blue Orchid here in Mumford, they should be very proud of what they do here. And those prawns were magnificent. <laughs> it's uh, great. If you've enjoyed any part of this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, get in the comments. Just let us know what you think. Do you like restaurant reviews like that? Should we do more of them? Chinese is a very difficult review for us to do because normally we're doing it outside and you've got 150 different dishes spread across your spoiler. It's tough. Should we go in and do these more often? Maybe so. Um, ready for sleep now. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks, brother. No Remember, Thank you very much. Next Gen Enterprises for all of your stuff. He makes what I'm wearing now is him. Bosh. Bosh.